Hey everyone, I know a lot of people are eager to hear an update on Blaine, um, so we just wanted to give you all a quick update on our hospital stay so far. Today is transplant day for Blaine, so we are very excited we made it here. Um, we've actually had a pretty uneventful stay so far, which we have quickly learned that boring and uneventful in the hospital is always a good thing. So we are praying that our hospital stay continues to be very boring. Uh, Blaine was admitted on January 6th, um, so we've been here for about 10 days. She got her Hickman line in place on the first day, and everything went smoothly. Um, she's adjusted to her new big girl tubies and doesn't really seem to mind them at all. On our second day here, she began her conditioning process for her transplant. So that means over nine days, she received different types of chemotherapy that killed her immune system. So her body would accept her new stem cells today. And um, so overall, she has tolerated all of the medicine really, really well. Um, she didn't really skip a beat the first seven days. Um, she was running around all over the place, riding her bike around the floor. You would not have any idea really looking at her that she was undergoing any, any sort of treatment. Um, on day eight, nine, and 10, she did become a little nauseous, um, which was expected with the chemo. Um, and she had a hard time keeping down anything. Uh, didn't have much of an appetite either. And we just really rested more than usual. Um, she did overall um, handle everything very well though. Today we are, as you can see, just hanging out and waiting for her new stem cells to arrive. It should be happening probably within the hour or so. Um, it seems like this buildup in this grand event, but we've actually been told that receiving the stem cells is pretty anticlimactic. They come in with just a pretty small syringe of blood, which has her stem cells in it. And she receives it just through her Hickman line. Um, so it's kind of hard to see right now, but you can tell her tubes aren't bothering her at all. So they will just push the stem cells through this. And I think the whole process takes maybe 30 minutes. Um, and that's pretty much it. And from then on for her, it's just going to be the waiting game and lots and lots of monitor monitoring blood draws just to make sure that her new stem cells graft to her bone marrow. Well, it seems like no big deal. Um, it is a very serious process. There's a, about a million things that could possibly go wrong over the next few weeks. Um, so we're just praying for her body to accept those new stem cells and to have a smooth recovery. Um, if everything goes as planned, we will be here another 30-ish days or so. Uh, and each day will just vary based on her needs for the day. So we will keep you updated on her progress over the next few weeks. Thank you all again for all your prayers, love, and support. Um, Blaine has such an amazing group of people behind her. And we are so grateful for each and every one of you. <laughs> Sorry, Paul the Pole is beeping back here. It never stops. <laughs> Hospital life. Blaine, do you want to say hello? I can edit some Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. Can I say hello? Here's Princess Boy. <laughs> Can you say hello?